Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game No One Survived, and we are now in episode 15. So we are looking today at extending the base. So I've done a little bit of blueprint work off camera. Um, I did find one thing that was really weird was that I needed to make this kind of frame uh, along here first before I could put the roof up. Uh, if I jump down, you can kind of see when I put the roof up, I attached it and then it had a gap at the other end, so I've kind of built a little frame around it, so... Oh, you know, we don't get wet, I guess, we don't fall down, whatever. Anyhow, um, all of these walls, so I've got uh, a sort of opening a doorway, I guess, that runs all the way through. But see how there's kind of like, there is, this, oh, there's boxes and there's a staircase in the way and all that. I can't do too much about that, and I'll probably keep that definitely for the middle section. But for this one here, because we've got uh, four sections to the base, this is where I want to put the staircase. So it's got a gap on the other side, a uh, gap on the other side of the walkway, and then the staircase can kind of just go right where I'm standing, just just here. So I think that'll work, but uh, as per usual, I like to do all of the ceiling sections first so I can line the staircase up because it kind of doesn't doesn't really want to click into place um, so yeah so okay so all this gear um, our walls eight planks two sticks our ceilings eight planks four sticks we need a ton of planks and we need a ton of sticks so off camera I've done a fair bit of grinding uh, I've got all my logs back which is fantastic but look I think I'm like one plank short of having it completely full and look at the sticks I think they're like three sticks short so We've got a lot of gear in here at the moment. We want to see if we can complete that base extension there, and then we can dedicate that four by four building to some some role. I think so. Let's just take um, a whole bunch. Sorry, we're not storing them, Trevor. We're taking them. Take a whole bunch of sticks with us. Let's see how many is that? Holy dooly, it's a lot. All right, and. How many planks can we fit in without being too heavy? Ah, <laughs> yeah, we're already. Uh, how many do we have to go back to there? Okay, take what we can, fill it in. So we can do that. Do the doorway. Did we do that one? Oh wow. Okay, needs a lot more planks, eh? All right, let's just go do the sticks as best we can. Two sticks. Two sticks. Two sticks. All the way around if we can. There you go. Holy early. Hang on, how many sticks we got left? Oh, just three. Alright. That's easy enough. Just put these back. So, now we're just filling up with a whole bunch of planks. What are we up to? Got a little bit more to go. You didn't tell you the weight while you were doing that. Anyway, that'll do. See how far we can go. That one. That one. That one. So to there. Okay. Alright, well I guess we can definitely position our staircase now. So we want... Stairs corner. Stairs corner. That's the cement version, isn't it? Okay, so we just want the timber one. And I think I think that kind of stair works okay for me. Um, you could put a post. See, because that that limits it that way. Because you can see when it goes red, you've kind of pushed it too far. But yeah, you probably do need a post there. That would make life a bit easier. So if I put a post, say there, let me just grab on, one log, put this into place, and then we come back to the wooden staircase again, which is going that way. We kind of need to line it up, and I guess it's kind of hitting the post about there. So I think that works. If you know what I mean, it's kind of... 
Actually, no, it actually needs to be on the inside of the post, Triv. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Uh, hang on, let's try that again. Goes that way. Oops. Okay, so when it goes green... About there. Okay, well that's kind of... It's hooked in now, I think. Ten logs! That's right, they are expensive, aren't they? Alright, let me just adjust the video for you guys a bit, because it's getting a tad dark. Alright, how many do we have left in the cart? Eleven. Actually, we might as well just take all the ones out of the cart for a sec. I'm going to need ten. I might as well put one back in here. And then just finish that. So I've got nothing... Did I not put that back in there? Oh, because I've got construction hammer on me. Okay, so I think this... Oh, wow. No way! I... <laughs> Jeez! I just hit my head on that! You're kidding me. Okay. Guess what? I hope we get all our materials back. Ah! Just lost ten logs! What a piece of... You're kidding me! So I can't... I can't climb up because I'm hitting my head on, like, against the <laughs> ceiling. So I can't have the stairs that way. They actually have to start here and then go up, I think. Yeah, they would. They have to go in line with the... Uh... Oh, that's why the others were like that. Damn it! Oh, that is such a bummer. Look, I just lost my ten logs. Man! Uh, okay, here we go. Try this again. Live and learn. Oh, so how can we match this then? bottom there, I can see it just touching that. Okay, I think that's lined up. I'll definitely get to the top. That'll all be hidden by the ceiling, but... And then we won't need that... that one there, I guess. Okay, so that should work, because... I mean, you can't go up here, because you hit your head on there, but you can go up the, the, this part here, I suppose. Oh, uh, what a waste of ten logs, Trev. Oh well. Alright, we'll try this. Okay, so that will work. But obviously you can't come up on this edge because you'll hit the roof there. Okay, alright. Oh, well, it still works, just a bit annoying. But yeah, you'll have to come in and go around up here to get onto the second floor. Ooh, that's something to remember. So always put the bottom half of the staircase in line with where these rafters are running. Ooh, interesting, Trev. Alright, we need to grab a ton of planks to finish this bit off. Uh, hang on. Oh, did I have some in here? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I did. Uh, where's my planks? Down the bottom here now. So do seven at least. So we'll get them cranking along. Just put the spare axe down the bottom. Alright, and then for the time being we'll take a whole bunch of them from here and we'll just keep going. Wow, that's an awful lot of planks going in there, eh? Oh, goodness me, I'm almost full already. Alright, how far are we going to get? That one... Don't forget, these are eight each. halfway through that. So we need four eights, five eights, and four. So forty-four, wow. Still need a lot of planks. Look at that. That whole plank hold has disappeared, basically. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's not going to cover all of it, but, oh, wow. It goes to show how many of these things that you actually go through. Goodness me, five... 
So I still need another 19 or so. Man. Alright, well to finish this off though, while well, that's still making the planks, uh, we need to continue putting our roofs across. Whoops. That's the right place, isn't it? Because oh, that's an interesting one too, isn't it? We actually need another beam. It's because it was stretched a bit too far, I think. I don't know whether... Maybe if this column was on the left hand side it would have worked. Anyway, can't do too much about it now. We're just going to have to fix it by putting one there, one on this side. Once we've got those in place, we'll need six, won't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. So two for the columns. <coughs> Don't have to punch it, Drew. One for there, and then we'll go back and put our long beam in again. Yeah, there's a few little iffy things that you have to do. Alright, so now we're right. If we fill all that in, then we should be able to still get up and down. And he just misses that, doesn't he? Alright. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a bit of effort there, Drew. It will look good when it's all done, though. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, okay, I took some, didn't I? Alright. Uh, let's tell it to do three, so it takes care of those, and then we'll come back and throw another seven logs in. Right. So, that one. One for that one. Right, might as well. Almost finished. So we can at least tell it to do another six. Oh, not hammers. Trev! How did I get it to do hammers? I don't want hammers, Trev. I want boards, dude. Dude. <laughs> I uh, don't know what I was thinking. Gee, just as well you caught that before you had it going. A whole bunch of hammers coming out. Alright, so we just got these floors here to do at least... If we can do that, then at least we've got the bottom level of this next building done. Oh man, it's going to take a lot of grinding. It's fun though. I love it. I'm just that special sort of person that likes giving himself lots of hard work. <laughs> oh man, do the one that you can... What's wrong with... Oh, the wooden sticks. What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gee whiz, do we have enough sticks? Oh yeah. What am I talking about? Do we have enough sticks? Trev! Look at this. Easy! It's only four per thing, so it's not that bad. Four, four, four. So all this row. That's done. That one. Oh wow, just ran out. One. There's nine. I think I only need nine. Alright. That's it. So where were we? Just that one, that one, and that one. So I should have no sticks left. She I need to drink and eat too, by the way. Drinkies. Drink some water. I should have to do a couple anyway. Drink again, give us a hundred. Need to grab something. I did throw some of the old food out before that was in the food box over in the um, uh, the horde base. 
made use of the trash can. That should get our physical activity up, yeah, well, pretty much 99. Okay, we're right to go again. So where are we off to for... We've got all these guys going. How many did I grab then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... No, we're not making hammers troops. 7, 7, 7, 7... seven. There you go. Alright. Oh, you know, you can need so many of these to get all this done. Four, so we're getting there. Oh man, it's going to be really, really sweet when we get all this set up properly. <laughs> oh, jeez. We have got so much work to do here. It's pretty cool though. I don't understand why I couldn't have turned that the other way around. It was a bit weird trying to put it up. Although maybe I could... Hang on, if you look at it... Yeah, you don't get back your stuff. Damn it! Well, it'll just have to look that way, I guess. I'll probably take it down and do it eventually. Yeah, this is another one of these ones where I went, I kind of need to put a, another beam across there. I don't, I don't think it wants you to put the beam across there. If you have a look, it doesn't want you to put it in the in there in, in between. You know what I mean? You can't really do it. It's not that big a deal. He still hops up and goes over the top of it. Has a bit of a stutter, but not not too bad. Who <coughs> who, Mr. Owl? So yeah, okay. Um, while I'm waiting, or is it done now? I'm waiting a little bit. Just let me dive into here. So the skills and whatnot. I did do a bit of reading to get the engineering, the mechanics and the cooking are all at five. Metallurgies is at three, so is tailoring. But I think the electrical, the agriculture and the medicine I couldn't find book one yet. So I'm gonna have to go out and do more searching anyway. Um, what we might do is next episode I want to go above this top right merchant. I've been talking about it for a while now but I want to get to this little base just above this merchant because I know it is absolutely chockers with guns. Guns and ammo. So that'll be the plan for next episode. Um, at the moment though we just want to see if we can finish off the rest of this part of the base because I want to kind of expand into it I guess. Um, can I throw these guys in here? Let's have a look. I want to do another five. Thank you. Because we can, we, you know, we have to fill up that entire plank stand again yet. Actually, did I do this one? I absolutely love the idea of having all this sealed so that when there's a storm on... When we're probably... where are we? We're in autumn. Day 23, year 1, autumn. Yeah, we're, we're you know, we're coming close to winter. Which I did have a look in the horde base. There's a... there was a warm coat over there. It wasn't great, but it was like plus 35. Ah, uh, this was the one. Oh, sorry, it's a varsity jacket. Okay, see the cold resistance is plus 55, so that's good to know I've got something pretty warm. I've got a warm winter hat, which is plus 23. Cold resistance plus 6 isn't that great. So that's my head. Gloves, plus 15 cold resistance, that's good. Uh, that's not fantastic. That is, <laughs> for cold, plus 45. Okay, so hang on. At the moment, because it's kind of summerish, gee, these are a bit worn, aren't they? So that's not really that's no negative for heat. Those shorts, which is good. Uh, that doesn't do a lot. Yeah, these are getting a bit torn. I need to fix these up. Some I can, some I can't. Oh, actually, now that I've got tailoring at three, I probably can. I should just quickly do that. So that's my sun hat. Not wearing gloves at the moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, hang on. Did we have? Oh, we do have. Okay. Let me just sneak a few of these over. Uh, let's have a look. Can I? If I take that off, I should be able to sew it. 
It's not perfect, but it's a bit better. Can I sew it? Yes. And can you sew your shoes? You can. Oh, that's a bit better. They're not perfect, but they're up a lot better now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we've done a bit of that. Now we just need to continue on. Let's push um, seven of these in here if we can. Where's number seven there? Go down. Yep, we're going to make s not not seven hammers, Trev. Seven <laughs> sets of planks. Looks like it's coming to morning again. Okay, so we only need another eleven. That's all we need. Um, let's push this back down because it's got to morning again. So another eleven will finish off that entire ceiling. Yay! 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 Um, so I don't know. I reckon that's looking pretty good. Got ourselves to that stage. Yeah, sorry, my OCD is saying that that's not a good thing. <laughs> oh, I hate that. But, oh, unless you have everything crossed, like one this way, then one that way, and one the other way. You know, it's a pattern, but it just, just don't bugs me that it's not running the same way. Oh, gee, I don't know. People, I don't know. I don't think I've got OCD, but I think I might have. <laughs> I don't know. See? Down here, it doesn't really worry me that much. You can't really tell, but, yeah. One day I'll be, yeah, uh, I'll probably do it off camera so I don't annoy everyone, but. <laughs> Alright, I got 12. Do I, how many did I say I needed? 8 and 3, which is 11. So, I think that's it. Let's have a look. Yay, we got one left over. Alrighty, well, that's good. So, this base has now got the bottom level at least, which is really good. Alright, the rest of these planks can go oops, back in there. Um, yeah, so all that's looking pretty pretty good, actually. Um, so here's the question. I have to work this out. Um, I want to go to that area. Um, don't have a car. The only reason I don't have the car is... Um, Hang on, if we just go to the technology tree for a sec. All because I can't make this. The car repair kit, that's all I need. I can go to a trader, but which one is a good question, because you can end up going all over the map before you find the one that sells them. Um, or I can make them myself. So, the problem was I couldn't get past the battery table uh, because of the electrical level. So if I could do that, then I'd go down through here, the machining table, and it needs electrical level 2. So 2, 2, the rest of it is fine, engineering level 3 is fine, mechanics level 4 is fine, and then I can come down through here, mechanics level 4, which is fine, and then to here, mechanics level 5, which is fine. I've got the car parts, now steel ingots, steel ingots. Now they're not there, are they? They're he's somewhere down here. And I've got both of those. As long as I've got a blueprint for the electric furnace. Actually, I could make that now if I actually had the electric furnace blueprint. Hmm. Let's have a look at the blueprints for a sec. Electric furnace. No. Uh, there you go. Electric furnace. So let me have a look at that again. Three electrical components. Three electronic components. Okay, let's have a look. I've definitely got them. Electrical components. Just snap that for a sec. Let's have a look. No, wrong one, Trev. Now, is this going to say no because I haven't done the previous ones? Probably. Ah, uh, okay, it won't, it won't even start, won't even click on it, okay. 
So I need the electrical stuff. The electrical stuff at the moment is Zippo's because... Where's electrical here? I'm missing these ones to the left. So I've got three, four and five. Got three and four twice. Got three, th three times. So one and two. Okay. Okay, so that's the stage that we're up to. So I basically just have to do a lot more grinding to get that up. What a pain. I might leave this, try to remember I've left it there at the start. So I gather then I need to do more looting to get more books. So as soon as I see one that's based on one and two electrical medicine agriculture, I'm going to snap them up because I'm missing them at the moment. That's that's our problem. Okay, all right. Well, I've done I've done what I really wanted to do this episode, and that is get this bottom level in place. The other question is, I was going to think about I need I need more space for ammo and guns, without a doubt. I'm starting to think that maybe some of this area in here can be my ammo and guns area, and I just need to put some storage in place. So. Before we head off uh, next episode to try to chase down that massive big cache of weapons that I know that is at that building, there's a few of them around including the airport and stuff, but that building does have them. Um, I think maybe we need to make up um, some storage for it, so let's see, let's see if we can do a few in here. One, two... They kind of line up all right, I suppose. If you go down this way, it tries to put one there. I think if I just um, go G to turn off the snapping stuff, and I just want to put it where I want to put it, which is probably there. Come on, play good. You know what, Trevor? It doesn't have to be spot on perfect, just there. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, can we do another one, people? And this is the big... Oh, we can! We can! There you go. One, two, three, four. You know what bugs me about that? Hang on. Um, hang on, I'm going to do these two again, I'm going to do it a little bit differently, so when I go to put these down, I take G off, where's the door frame, about there, so go in as far as we can and put one there, and then put another one right next to that one. That feel, even though that space in the background is kind of, I mean, you might be able to put a pot plant in there or something, but you know, at least that way I've got the six of these lined up, and not, the one is not over crossing over the other one, if that makes sense. All right, lots of planks again, and simple parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total. Need fourteen simple parts, which is going to be easy enough because I've got a, a ton of them. Um, but we need a lot of planks. A lot, a lot, a lot of planks. Oh dear. Let's see if we can get another whole bunch of planks going. This is the beauty of actually having all the, um, the logs in here. Because you don't have to sort of stop and go all the way out like, chasing the, the logs to make the planks. You can just sort of pull them straight from the shelf, which is awesome. Alright, so this one, this, whoops, don't stand too close to a trip. So simple parts are going in. So they're all done. 5, 10, 15. We need another 19 planks, and we're right from that perspective. Now, hang on a second. So if we want to put. We want to put the chests in. Each chest needs one simple part as well, I think. I think so. Uh, let me just grab a drink of water. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. We might 
grab another one of these, get our physical stuff back up again. Okay. still need another seven, okay. Then at least we've got our shelves in. It'd be good to have a few chests up in here as well. Then I can just come back from looting and just put it straight into the boxes rather than it being all over the all over the shop. Uh, so another seven planks. How about we just grab our whole bunch of simple parts as well. Yeah, I'm still going to need a lot more. Keep these ones going. Some more planks. You can see how many planks you go through. Goodness me. So that should be enough to get these guys in place. So I guess now we have to go through and just create a few oops, of these boxes. certainly is an overkill. Oh my goodness, there is so much stuff to loot and to collect and whatnot, so... Actually, hang on. So this... I haven't looked at this yet. So this is all the new stuff, all the decoration stuff. Look, oh, that's pretty cool. Welcome, Matt. All these decorations, like pots. <laughs> it's kind of like the trophies. Perfect bear head. Deer head. Oh wow, okay. That's interesting. So you've got to go around the world and find a perfect wolf head. So I wonder if you don't get them every, necessarily every time you kill one. See, wardrobes, bedside tables. Oh, Aww. Oh, a fireplace. How cool. That's going to look pretty good in the bedroom. See, a few other games did this. I know the inf uh, Infected game did this and it worked, worked pretty well. Looked pretty snazzy having some tables and chairs and a bed and some other furniture around and stuff. So they've done a similar thing, probably gone a bit further, I guess, with this uh, addition of little pots and whatnot. Well, that's fantastic. Still got to go through all the traps. I'm looking forward to that. Eventually, with Horde Knight getting bigger and bigger, <laughs> it's going to be fun doing that. Yeah, I haven't gone... It used to be called Synthesis, didn't it? So now it's Workshop, so... I've got a lot of things to still create and put into place yet, so... Alright, well that's all looking good. Now, can I just make the simple parts go into here? Let's have a look. Not sure if we're going to be able to do all of these this episode, but we'll try. Then we'll... Yeah, then we'll well and truly know that we've got our space that we need. Okay, still got a lot of simple parts. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. There you go. We fit? No, I was going to say, I didn't think we'd fit seven in, but we'll try. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll get these going. So, I think that should be enough, I think. Once all those have uh, finished grinding out, I suppose. Alright, so there's another couple. Yay! So, six, eight. So we need, I think, 43 planks to finish all those off. Yep, still a lot. So how many is the seven going to make? Thirty-five. So we need a few more logs than that, and then we're done, skis. <laughs> the sound effect is slightly behind the <laughs> behind the guy. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Oh man, this is going to turn out really well. I think. Looking forward to this one. Um, yeah, even if we made. Oh man. So if you have the center section, and then you've got four around the edge, that's five. 
and if it's double layered that's then 10 so you have 10 separate areas where you can put different types of equipment and storage and whatnot so we shouldn't be too crammed or anything it's going to be really awesome to have it set up that way and then perhaps we can look at putting a perimeter fence of some sort with traps around the outside then we may not even kind of be in the horde base as such during horde night I don't know I don't know I'd love to test this a lot further down the track like go quite a few seasons or um, years I guess it's up in the top right hand corner here it just says year one I'm not sure how that works though. I think that might be. Is it? I think I chose 40. Is it 40 days per year? Might have been 10 days per season. Actually, which one did I start in? Was it summer, autumn, winter, spring? I can't remember now. Was it spring? Started in spring, then went summer, then autumn, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So you've got to go through all those, like, 40 days to get you, that, that then finishes year one, maybe? I don't know. Not so sure about that. Uh, was this, this was my, um, military bags and stuff. I have got another two military bags which I could put in there. I actually found them in the horde base. Actually, these guys are going to go off fairly soon if I'm not careful anyway. Oh, that might have been why I did that. Hang on. I might have to leave these in here. Maybe better just leave them like that. Maybe I did. Uh, I was just thinking. I don't mind having the water bottle. And I was just thinking spare batteries is not a bad idea. I could certainly put the pathogen stuff away. But see, yeah, it's kind of a bit crammed at the moment. Like, this, this is not, the health stuff's not in its own area either. Um, I do think I was, I put the magazines over here, but this, to me, was almost going to be more garage type stuff. Uh, I'll see how I go. I don't know if I can build any further along the bottom out that way might have to go along the back somehow. I would love to have a way of putting the cars around to the back here and then driving them undercover. So it is possible that in this quarter around here this may end up being the garage for the vehicles because I'll make that the driveway that comes up close to the horde base and then just goes in that way I think. Yeah, I don't know, the horde base might not be as used down the track. We might end up just making the main base the main horde base and defending it. I don't know, it could be a, you know, a crazy decision because it's too big to defend properly and the guys are, you know... I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to see how we go, I suppose. Alright, let's see if we can finish off these boxes. So that's almost six. Can we do five? Keep that rocking and rolling, I think so. Oh, cool. That's it, yeah, another five. Cool. So... Yeah, that should be enough. I only needed, like, 42 or whatever it was, so... 43. Okay, so we only need another 14, and we'll have all the boxes in place. And then depending on what the loot is that we come back with, uh, some will be set up as guns, some will be set up as uh, separate ammo, not a combined ammo one. It gets a bit confusing. So much easier instead of trying to sort it just to have... So hang on, what have we got? Uh, the shotgun ammo, then green, that, that, that. Okay, so there's five. That, I think, would be would be a nicer way of doing it. Hmm. It's almost like you want to have not just this chest, but the whole cupboard, like top and bottom, one type of ammo, two, three, four, five. And then to start to have these things, because it doesn't, it doesn't take long before you fill this up. You only need half a dozen guns and then it's filled. 
But then how many do you really need? Like, uh, you know, I've got my M4 and stuff, but two or three, maybe? So why would you use them? If you die, you haven't got your gun on you, you go back to the cupboard and just pull out a spare gun. How many times over do you need that? Ah, uh, I don't know. So at the moment, I know there's two pistols. Is there two pistols? See, yeah, there's two. I think there's only only two. The shotgun, the M4. There's the AK. There's a little machine gun, some machine gun. So there's at least five guns. So, and then there's all the attachments. So I guess yeah, we're just gonna fill this wall here with cupboards and stuff as well, and we should be able to dedicate. At, at least a box, if not the entire shelf system, in other words, two cupboards or two two crates um, to, er to anything and everything. I think that's the way to go and then we can just fill them and have plenty of spares with us and whatnot. And in turn that provides you with the warm and fuzzy feeling. How many did I need again? I'll just take them all out and I'll put back onto the storage area, so they're all done. Put the rest of them back in here. Two, three. So off camera I'm going to grind for some more logs because I know very well that yeah, we're definitely going to need them <laughs> without a doubt. So I'll fire that off again and I guess now We've started our gun and ammo storage, I suppose. Fantastic, I think, somehow. I like it. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. We'll gradually keep adding extensions to the base and then dedicate a, a floor or an area to one particular area be the way to go. It's funny how he does that. I just want him to jump down and he catches the edge of the the wall, or the floor, I should say. Alright, everyone, I'm going to leave the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed that. That's a bit of an extension, really, to get all that done. But, um, yeah, next episode, we're going to head up and get as much loot as we can north of this merchant. Hmm. Alright everyone, I'm looking forward to that. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, you can help and support the channel by smashing the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can super help the channel out by considering subscribing. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers.